बैलेंस शीट्स आई जी सी एस ई बिजनेस स्टडी जीरो फोर फाइव जीरो थ्री सी आई जी सी एस ई हेलो एवरी वन इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल हाई दिस इज थ्री सी आई जी सी एस ई वे यू कैन स्टडी सेवन आई जी सी एस ई सब्जेक्ट विच इंक्लूड बिजनेस इकनॉमिक्स अकाउंट साइंस मैथ्स एंड इंग्लिश ऑल्सो सम टिप्स एंड सॉल्व पास्ट पेपर हेयर इज आई जी सी एस ई एट योर फिंगर टिप्स please do subscribe and like also i have my own website which is crazyitcse.wixsite.com you can go and check it out from the uh, link in the description box below also you can check out an amazon prime uh, membership and there are more things so balance sheet this is the syllabus for it the main element of a balance sheet we're going to see how to interpret a balance sheet so balance sheet is a financial statement which shows the business's assets liabilities and equity at a point in time we're going to look at what each of these three words mean so there are three sections of a balance sheet assets liabilities and equity now we're going to look at assets assets are items which are owned by the business so there are two types of assets current assets and non current assets non current assets are also known as fixed assets now current assets are items owned and used by the business within a year example is stock inventory cash debtors non current assets are items owned by the business for more than a year which means long term items like buildings vehicles machinery oven liabilities are debts owed by the business so current liability is money owed by the business which must be repaid within a year example a bank overdraft or creditors then non current liabilities are long term borrowings which do not have to be repaid within a year they can be repaid even after a year the an example is long term bank loan equity also known as shareholders equity or shareholders fund is the total amount of money invested into the business by the owners of the company share capital is money raised from selling shares and retained profits are the profits which have been remained in the business now let's look at the interpretation of a balance sheet how does a business how a business is financing its activities so business expansion can be funded by increasing the non current liabilities like long term loans or through increasing shareholders equity like selling more shares and retain profits what assets a business owns this can be seen from the assets section of the balance sheet sale of inventory to raise finance if this occurs then stock would decrease on the balance sheet so we're going to look at some balance sheet equations here equity is equal to total assets minus total liabilities working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities and the money required to the um, money required to pay for day to day expenses is known as working capital then capital employed is equal to equity plus non current liabilities it's important for you to remember these three formulas because when you are solving the questions in the paper you will have different case studies so they'll give you a table and then you may have to fill the table so you need to know these equations to do so now here are a few tips equity is also known as shareholders fund now different textbooks have different words or synonyms for equity so complete a lot of past papers to make sure that you are aware of these terms used in your exam and you're not confused during the exam read the case study before answering the balance sheet question so this is the end of the video i hope you found this video useful thank you for watching crazy igcse please do subscribe like and share